when we were working together, I enjoyed that we had several talks about how, you know, we were pursuing our goals and uh, the experiences of our creative journeys. Uh, and I want to know from you now, why did you choose to become an actress? There's so much to answer to that question. I'll start with, um, I guess you could say, kind of surface reason. Um, I, like, I always knew I was the creative type, as you might call it. I always knew I was very right-brained, you know, when I was younger. Actually, I loved to sing when I was a little girl. Nice. And I was good at it. And then I kind of lost my voice along the way, which is fine. Right. <laughs> and, um, I loved I loved painting, doing arts and all of that fun, creative stuff. But I don't think that I necessarily had the resources around me to tap into that because I did grow up in the Middle East where art isn't really respected as it is in somewhere like North America. And so I... You know, I always knew that that was there, but I didn't really, as I said, tap into it as much. Um, And I think I just, I just kind of, you know, took drama classes and did whatever. And then I thought, you know, maybe I'll do law or something, or I was kind of. So this wasn't the reason why I asked this, because I'm always curious for myself. I told you with film, like I have always believed, and I still do, that it's a calling, right? Like it's something I was put here to do, just the way Mm -hmm. my brain's wired. Do you feel it's the same or do you feel this passion kind of this, you just dis- like it discovered you rather you discovered it. Like it found you. I, I kind of like both. So as I, what I was saying, what I was getting into was that, right. then I kind of, I was, you know, sidetracked thought, Oh, maybe I'll do law or something. And then, mm. um, <laughs> law. And then yeah. I was in high school and I was talking to a friend on the phone, not even like a really close friend, but just a, like a friend. And somehow acting came up. I was about 14 years old. This is a period now when we're, we're deciding what you want to pursue for the rest of your life. Right. Um, you know, and so I was like, I don't know how acting came up. It just came up. And I remember I had to hang up the phone. And this is the only time something like this has ever happened in oh my, my life. God. But I literally, I had an epiphany. And I don't think I've ever had an epiphany. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God. Like, it felt like a positive panic attack, like a good, you know, I was hyperventilating. I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I have to do. I have to be an actor. And it seems so random and sudden. Cause like I said, when I was like four to like nine, like I was into the, you know, creative arts and whatever that meant. I, I played the piano, like I sang like all this, but I didn't really think you could make a career out of it. Yeah. Um, but, um, and when I was on the phone, I was like, oh, I have to do this. And then, you know, obviously there was <laughs> trial and error, but here I am now. So that's what matters. And then the kind of, I guess you could say unsurfaced reason is that I, I spent a lot of time as a child, kind of like alone. And I was, I was very introverted and I would often watch films and that's how I kind of connect to the world. It would just be like, I, I was obsessed with them. I was never much of a reader, which is funny because I am now, but I was obsessed with movies and just like all sorts of movies. And I just, I remember watching it and kind of feeling like, wow, this exists, you know? And I was, I was cooped up in this apartment and in a completely different world from this world where art is like, hugely appreciated which is what I love about Canada or North America and I was like wow you know and I I remember feeling so connected and during a time where maybe my feelings weren't being validated Mm -hmm. I felt like my emotions and my feelings as a little girl were being validated by watching film or even tv shows or anything and watching people and just learning behaviors from these people and so I think that those two reasons kind of enmeshed the the epiphany that came out of nowhere, which you yeah. know it's instinct, and you have to follow instinct. When instinct is that pure, you have to follow it. So, yeah, it's kind of in the sense that like it found me, right? But also, I think it's something that brings me great joy to actively pursue whenever you know, even if there's times that I doubt it or whatever. I'm like, no, like I love this. This is it's the art for me. It's the fact that there might be a little girl out there, like little Iman, who I can connect to, whose feelings I can validate the way I needed feelings, my feelings to be validated. And it's just about connection, you know. You I want someone to watch something I'm in, even Lady of the Night, and be like, wow, you know, I can kind of relate to that. Or right. You know? So serving yeah. justice to the character as well. That's something that we discussed, right? Respecting the story. (laughs) 